your morning starts now. It's the Q102 Jeff and Jen podcast brought to you by CVG Airport. Fly healthy through CVG. For more information, go to CVG Airport backslash fly healthy. Sean is looking for a second date update with Annie. Hi, Sean. How are you? Hey, guys. It's really good to talk to you guys. Good to have you on. You want to start from the beginning? Tell us how you met Annie, how the first date went, and we'll see what magic we can pull off today. Uh, sure. I, I mean, to be honest, like I, I just kind of wish this was under different circumstances and I'm talking to you, but I met this girl on Match, and uh, we went for a really nice dinner at Oriental Walk. Sweet. And, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I really love my place. To be honest, it's my favorite. And, yeah. um, you know, I thought we had a great time. I, I mean, I... Personally, I thought I nailed it. Really? I was I was charming. I, I feel like I was funny. Um, I, I mean, I asked her questions, too. Like, I, I thought that, you know, I actually really was interested in what she had to say. And, and I tried to stay focused the entire time and, you know, ask her questions about herself, like her family and her job and, you know, how she felt about everything that's going on in the world. And, I mean... I seemed really interested in her because I was. It was totally honest. And, you know, overall, I felt like I gave a real solid performance. I mean, there's a lot to pay attention to. You got to be charming. You got to be funny. You got to ask questions. You got to be focused. You got. I just... also like that he called the date a performance. Yeah. Well, I mean. It kind of is. Real. It sort yeah. of is. Yeah, I mean, you have to, I mean, put your best foot forward, right? So I want to make connections with her because that's totally what it's about, like, connecting with each other and finding out about each other on a date so you know if you want to go out again. So I'm thinking everything's going great because, I mean, I know I looked good. I mean, I, I had nice new jeans on. I had a nice shirt on. I, you know, a good. I have a nice watch. I, I have cologne on, so I smelled good. Like, I just, from there, I don't know what happened because I was flirty. I didn't make any big moves at the end of the night. Just we Just a hug. Okay. And I said it was nice to meet her, and I had a great time. And I asked her if I could call again because I'd love to see her again. And she's like, sure. And now it's been a week, and I haven't heard back. So I don't know what happened. I mean, I've called. I've texted a couple times, but. Do you think it's possible that you were so focused intently on your performance and checking all of those boxes with the cologne and the watch and dressing nice and everything else. Don't get me wrong. I love the fact that you put all that effort into it and you were trying to make sure everything was shored up. Maybe you were too into the way that you were you were on the date and you didn't give her enough attention. Or were as in tuned in to yeah. her, yeah. maybe. As you feel like you should have been. You should have been. I don't know. I'm just no. guessing. I mean, That's a good point. I really felt like we connected, though. I mean, I asked her. So, I mean, I barely talked about me and my job and what I do. And, it, you know, I really wanted to find out who she was. And, like, you know, I just wanted to make her feel comfortable. Like, I didn't want to smell bad. <laughs> so, no, like, I hear good. that. And I didn't want to look bad. So I looked good. And, I, I mean, I don't know why she wouldn't want to talk to me now because, I mean, I really did put my best foot forward as far as connecting with her and finding out about who she is. And I just... I don't know. I'm confused. Did she seem as interested in you as you were in her? I mean, it's hard to tell, but I I suppose because we laughed a lot and had a great dinner. We had good conversation. I felt like, you know, she was very open with me and honest about who she is and, you know, told me about her family and stuff. I mean, I felt like she was very kind of communicative. Engaged. Engaged, yeah. And so that's, I mean, I felt like we connected, and that's what's so confusing to me. Okay. Well, why don't we take a break? When we come back, we'll just call her up. See what happens. Have her do the talking, see what what her impressions were of you, see if she picked up on the little things, you know, those details like the watch and the cologne, and if she has any thoughts on your listening skills, all that stuff. It'll be interesting to hear it from her perspective. Coming up next as we continue with Jeff and Jen here at Cincinnati's Q102. Hang on. All right, Sean met Annie on match. They had a lovely dinner at Oriental Walk. And Sean really went out of his way. I got to give Sean for putting in the effort because, you know, a lot of guys sometimes phone it in when they go on a date. That's usually a complaint by women sometimes too, though, Jeff. They're like, oh, he looked sloppy or... You know, Absolutely. whatever. And and Sean did a good job at explaining he tried to be conscious of all of the all of the things that he felt would matter. Appearance, 
being a good listener, being charming, funny, asking questions, showing interest, putting his best foot forward. And it sounds like he did that. I feel like I did. Sounds like it was an overall good date. It was one of the best dates I've ever been on, and I'm not even overselling it. Okay, but it has been a week since you last spoke with her, and you've reached out, what, a couple times? I've called once, and I've texted three times. Okay. Total silence. Okay, so that's, yeah. I mean, we had a great time. We laughed a lot. I mean, I. that's why I'm calling you guys. I mean, I really just don't understand it. He stumped. Yeah. Okay, Let's let's see what she has to say. Hello? Hi, can we speak to Annie, please? I'm assuming this is Annie. This is Annie, yeah. Hi, Annie. It's Jeff and Jen at Q102 Radio. How are you? Um, I'm good. How are you? Good. We're all here. Hi. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Good. You got a few minutes? Um. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Uh, did you know you have a fan out there? I did not know that, no. Well, this is someone you met recently and actually went on a date with. Talking about Sean, uh, he told us about your dinner at Oriental Walk, said you were lovely. Uh, evidently, he's made a couple of attempts to reach back out to you and try to set up a, a second date. But I don't know if you've just been busy or you've had something else going on or if you're intentionally avoiding him. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. I know. Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay, so this is a second date. <laughs> the it, second date update. Second, yes. That's exactly what it is. Would you mind maybe filling us in on what it is about Sean or what Sean said or did that doesn't seem um, to be gelling yeah, with you? Yeah, sure. Because maybe, maybe it'll help him in future dates. Um, not with me, but with <laughs> with other people. Oh, okay. Um, th- okay, I think he tried really hard. I could tell. He was very sweet. But he kept sticking his chopsticks in his mouth and acting like a walrus. Oh. <laughs> like he would ask me a really serious question and I would be answering. And while I'd be talking, he would like be sticking his chopstick in his mouth and making faces while I was talking. It was just oh, like man. dumb <laughs> and like immature and weird. And the first time I kind of laughed like, oh, classic. Yeah, because you know, we just okay, laughed. You got me. And I thought. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh like, gosh, I, it yeah. just was such a it was such a like weird thing for an adult to do. So I was like, okay, you know, whatever, that's fine. He's trying to lighten the mood, but it, it just kept happening. I think because it kind of got an awkward pity laugh the first time he kept doing it, and every time it just got more dumb and and cringy. Okay. Um, and then how you know how am I supposed to take him seriously as a potential? partner after that so i just thought it was really weird and i just uh haven't talked to him since because we we just laughed when you told the story so i could see you laughing the first time yeah okay honey take him like we're done take him out of your mouth okay that was funny the first time right now what are you doing yeah exactly it just got weirder and weirder the more he did it okay Let's talk to Sean. As you know, if you're familiar with Second Date Update, we have him on the line. He's been listening quietly. Was it, By the way, is there anything else about Sean that rubbed you the wrong way that you want to add? No. I mean, he was great. He was, he was a good conversationalist. He was good at asking questions. He was nice and respectful. He didn't try to, you know, do anything that made me feel uncomfortable. We went to a nice place. <laughs> Except for the walrus thing with the chopsticks. Right. Like that just, it just was so weird. And I felt like it didn't bode well for the rest of the relationship. It just made him seem really immature. And I was like, I, you know, I'm here looking for something serious and you're clearly not if you're giving me your, you know, second grade stand-up comedy routine. I am kind of shocked. I mean, I thought that it was just a joke and it was just kind of a funny thing to do. And, like, every time I did it, you know, you smiled, you laughed. I mean, it was just a charming little joke. Maybe the first time, but even the first time it wasn't that funny. That's, like, something that only gets a (laughs) laugh the first time you do it. And the first time I did it, I was, like, 10 years old. 
it just was was kind of weird. As someone who tells unfunny jokes all the time, I can tell you that the best thing you can do is try to pay attention to how it landed or maybe didn't land and just move on. Yeah. I also feel like, and this is nothing against him or her, but I feel like they are not a match because there is someone that will think that is funny every yeah. single time. Yeah, it's a different kind of humor. Yeah. I remember how mad Kristen would get at me, though, like when her kids were younger and they would do stuff like that at the dinner table. Yes. And I'm the guy Jeff, that would laugh. And she's not like, funny, will you Jeff. not encourage them, please? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff loves slapstick. <laughs> <laughs> but somebody else would have grabbed the chopsticks, stuck them up there and talked back to him. You know what yeah. I mean? So there's definitely someone out there. It just must not. And it's then just order you. the meal, of course, with them. You must. Yeah. I mean, I think it's funny. Like, I don't really realize, like, why this would be a reason not to go out on a date. You said I was a good conversationalist. Like, I don't I don't see why you wouldn't want to talk to me. You could have just said, like, I thought that was stupid, and I would probably stop doing it. But I'm just but like. I feel like I shouldn't have to say that on a first date. Like, I, it just felt very immature so i wish you all the best but it just felt like that was not a good sign of what was to come i think it's a sign you guys just have a different sense of humor same yeah michael scott needs his holly flax <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah okay. exactly that's you're, such a great analogy this is just you're not uh, you're not holly for his michael <laughs> Yeah, I mean, plenty of other fish in the sea, right? Well, and I would just add, in hindsight, now that we know what Annie had to say, is maybe just add reading the room to that list of things to pay attention to when you're on a date. I guess I'll have to get better at that. Best of luck to you, brother. Thanks for coming on Second Date Update. And Annie, thank you for taking the call and talking with us. Yeah, no problem. I hope it, I hope it helps them out. <laughs> okay. So if you need our help with the Second Date Update, send us an email. Jeff and Jen at WKRQ.com. Coming up, the 1K letter of the day, your shot at $1,000, and we will unveil the, uh, the, the, it's the debut of our mom and pop spot, which we brought back <laughs> after a short hiatus. That's coming up straight ahead, but first, let's check the roads. We got Tori here now with your latest Q102 traffic. Thanks for listening to the Q102 Jeff and Jen Morning Show Podcast, brought to you by CVG Airport. Fly healthy through CVG. For more information, go to CVG Airport backslash fly healthy. Grab a 30-day free trial of Live by Live Plus, and you'll get unlimited skips, commercial-free music, and all of the podcasts and live streaming events you can handle. Visit livexlive.com slash podcast one to learn more and start your free trial.